Welcome! Uh, today is a super exciting day. This is the first time, Early Impact, we've done a video with a school or nursery. It's a very exciting day. We're here with Fern from Honeypot Nursery in Liverpool. We're actually in the heart of Liverpool. They'd never know we're in this beautiful woodland. And today we're going to have a look at some forest school activities. Uh, so Fern, what does your usual forest school structure look like? Yeah, so we'll start off the session here in the fire circle. Um, we'll go over the rules and the boundaries of the site. Um, we'll practice safe walking around the fire circle because obviously we have a live campfire in the middle there um, which we cook our dinner off um, and then we'll go and do some activities usually based around a story that I'll read in the fire circle um, and then the children obviously have time to free play and see what their interests are um, and then we'll call the children back we'll have a bit of lunch that we've cooked on the fire uh, usually a drink, hot chocolate and then we'll call the children back again after they've had another little play and we'll take some time to reflect on the session what the children enjoyed what they'd like to do next week um, and yeah it's just a nice little time to get together and um, talk about what we've done. Um, what do you think the benefits are of forest school? So it gets the children out and about in nature, um, it allows children to take risks, it overall promotes the holistic development of the child um, so for some children attending on earth they might not have experienced the natural woodland um, freely yep. um, so it's good to let them have that opportunity to climb, to run, to fall over um, and to understand what it's like um, you know, to take those risks. Fantastic. Connecting with nature and you know, experiencing some wildlife. We do see some squirrels and some birds. Yeah, fantastic. Um, we'll often like make bird feeders, especially in the winter months when food's scarce. Um, and look for bugs and you know, do bug hunts and stuff like that. Yeah. What other sort of activities do you do in the woods? Um, building dens, stuff like that. Um, a lot of climbing. We do a lot of climbing. Some children are a bit reluctant to take that risk. Uh, another question that people ask a lot is children with SEM, for example, who've got autism, how do they get on in forest school? Yeah, so usually we find that the confidence is quite low to begin with and then it slowly develops. Um, again, the open space, it kind of creates a calming environment and, you know, the children will practice some physical skills and again, the confidence will grow and, you know, the teamwork skills that we use as well in our group activities, that also kind of, you know, brings yeah. out that confidence. In a more open space, it's, uh, you can see it's a more comfortable environment where, as in an indoor um, nursery environment, they might feel a bit claustrophobic or yep. you know, a bit socially awkward for the child. Um, so yeah, you can just see the difference in them and parents have commented on that in you know, our parent sessions that you know, they, they couldn't believe that they've seen the child you know, doing these activities but yeah, you know, they've managed to, so it's been brilliant. Yeah, super, super. Great, uh, we're here now with Michael, just going to ask him just a couple of quick questions about forest school. Um, so what do you think the children get out of forest school? Um, to just take a better understanding of nature and we teach them about like insects, animals, fire. We do some like activities that we wouldn't do inside like cutting logs, making like bird houses out of like lard and seeds and stuff. So it's just yeah. like a, a better understanding of the outside than you would get from like being in a garden in nature. Yeah, brilliant. And so do you actually use real real life tools with them? Yeah, we use bow saws, axes, we use knives to sharpen like sticks for the marshmallows. We would normally go on like a wood hunt, but as today it's raining, we have to start it off with like kidding them, like yeah. a dry wood, and then we'll go, I'll go and get some. Um, yeah, we use we 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 have like a trolley with loads of tools, like yeah. buckets, spades. So the, every week we have a different lesson plan that normally involves a tool. This is the only week we don't because it's the second week. So yeah. we like them to get used to it and the fire. Because this is the first week we have a fire. Yeah, right. And um, so next week will be sawing, then digging, right, and so on. Yeah, wow. Uh, what other sort of activities do you do? Each week we have a lesson plan, so me and Fane, the leader, will come up with a lesson plan. So we have like a gruffalo hunt, we do like a treasure hunt where we create a treasure map and we hide like chocolate gold coins all around the forest, which we dig, plant them underground and like put X's on them. And then we read a story, which will be a pirate story, and then we link that with a treasure hunt. Yeah. And then they'll find the coins and then we'll come back and then we pull them all together and share them out so it's like a team building one yeah yeah and then there's another one we do like a capture the flag which is good so two teams of three each get a flag a red and a, a brown a red and a yellow flag one go and hide it in one area one go and hide it in another 
and then they come back and you've got to then go and get your opposite team's flag yeah. and bring it back and whoever brings it back wins. But yeah, they great. love that. Yeah, yeah, great. So it's all about, the first few weeks is all about sort of setting up the, like, the routines yeah. and getting them exploring. Yeah, and like and we do a bit of free play and then we, we always have like one activity that's planned and then some free play. Yeah. It's about teamwork and just team building. Like these have been together for four years, so yeah, right. So they, they do well. know each other very well. Yeah. Um. So it's just about like, just like enjoying themselves, yeah, and bonding, totally. them, but like teaching them in a fun way. And what sort of things they do in the free play? When they're left to, they're um. We, the main thing they love to do is log climb. Yeah. That's like that's the 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 thing that they always like to do. They like to do yeah. log climbing. They like to build bases, so normally they'll like get loads of sticks and like build them up against a, like a tree that's fallen and hide underneath. They play hide and seek. They love yeah. what's the time, Mr. Wolf, which yeah, I'm right. Mr. Wolf. Yeah. So um, they enjoy that. That's one of their favourite games. They go on nature hunts, so we're going right. to find like look for insects and squirrels. Sometimes yeah. in this forest that we use, we feed wood woodpeckers. Right. Which, so that's good for them because we try and like, we listen for the noise and go and try and find where the woodpecker is and listen and watch. Yeah. Um, just things like that, really. Yeah. Uh, what do you like doing in the woods? Um, I like digging. Do you? What do you dig with? We dig. Sometimes we dig with uh, deer. Sometimes we dig with buckets and spades. Oh. Some people think you need loads of equipment to start a forest school, but this place is a, an amazing example that that is not really the case. All you need is someone to let you use a wood. That is basically it. You've got some trees, got a bit of a space, you do all sorts of amazing things. Uh, thanks so much for watching and for coming to my forest school. And good luck to any future forest school practitioners and I hope you have as much fun as I do. It's competition time. Early Impact are looking for schools and nurseries that will let us come and make videos of their amazing learning environment. If this could be you, all you need to do are the following things. Number one, like every video that we've done on this channel. Number two, leave a comment on every video. Number three, follow us on all social media. And number four, send us a private message on Facebook to discuss the details.